to continue in task 10 we're asked to create a view in an object browser for all customers transactions and create the page applying an interactive report from the navigation menu in our application builder uh, we need to go to our SQL workshop and object browser so this time before we have created the tables so this time we're asked to create all the transaction of the customer using a view now we will name this one as customer customer transactions and we have an option here we can write a query by creating a view or just head on to query builder so once that we have in the query builder we are now selecting the table customer and the products and of course the transactions so this time we will make uh, a joining a natural joining for each one of the tables so from from our transaction we need to make a relationship between your customer ID and then your customer ID of transaction so this would be a natural joining so an equally equi joining and then of course we need to also to identify the products the products would be for the product ID and the product ID as well now, if you want to identify also the product type ID we can also include the product type table um, performing natural join from our product type ID to product type ID of products and product type table respectively so this time we can select the fields customer ID and customer name and we can also include the transaction ID transaction date and of course we need also to include the product ID and product name the quantity product type name and the price right uh, this time you can see from the bottom that we have selected given aliases by default we can also customize our aliases but if there are some ambiguous uh, field name we can rename it as an alias I think for now we don't have ambiguous because we only selected single uh, reference for each one of the table now this time we can run now you can see that these are the transaction made by respective customer and the products that they have been booked as per their transactions so click return and automatically the query will be created now click next and create view then the view will be created now our customer transaction will create an object along with the given column names and also the data will also mention here now we will apply this customer transaction view 
as one of the page using interactive report from our application. Now in our application, let's go back to our application. We'll, we'll add one application, oh, I mean one page within your application and we'll include one uh, transaction report or maybe it's about uh, a customer report in your navigation and then it will open up one downloadable, downloadable uh, interactive report. Now let's head on to our application number. And this time we'll create new page and that page will gonna be a report okay now select interactive report and this time it will be page 13 and this would be customer transactions right now we'll also link to a breadcrumb Oh, right and then the customer transaction report will be the name entry and our home page will be the parent entry click next okay for us to access this one from our page we will have to create a new navigation entry so customer report oh, I'll just write report that would be a parent right. click next All right now of course we're now need to select the view that we have created just write it here customer So remember the name of the view is customer transactions okay underscore transaction you see there's the view there now select and create now this time we'll try to run now our application so specifically on this page 13 and now you will see it will add one navigation link here as a report and this would be our customer transaction report now these are transaction made by specific customers as per the transaction so we can download that one to a csv or excel or excel file or pdf or we can also do some formatting or aggregating and sorting and so all right so this would be for our task number 10. so next video will be task 11. so thank you